Positioning the patient. The instrument should be cleaned in accordance with local infection control policy and in reference to the HMM manual. The table and headrest should be adjusted for comfort and optimum position and the patient should be encouraged to blink throughout the examination. Identifying regions of interest. Regions of interest can be identified by acquiring a 30 degree image of the eye. Align the camera head in the normal way, ensuring even funnus illumination, adjusting for brightness, and optimum focus. Look for a starry sky appearance within the fundus image. This corresponds to reflection from photoreceptor structure and acquire an image for reference. Exit and save the images. Exchanging the lens. The 30 degree objective lens is removed using a counterclockwise rotation. The high magnification module lens selected, aligned using the red reference mark and mounted with a clockwise rotation. Acquiring an 8 degree infrared high magnification fundus image. Initial focus needs to be adjusted for a zero position and the camera aligned in the usual way, ensuring even funnus illumination and focus on vascular structure. Working distance is approximately 5 cm from the central cornea. Focus should be adjusted in a minus direction to visualize the photoreceptor mosaic. The fixation target should be adjusted to a position identified in the 30 degree reference image. The contralateral eye needs to be illuminated to constrict the pupil and achieve optimum focus and illumination. Images should be acquired using ART with and without normalization and images should be acquired with and without eye tracking. Multiple images may need to be recorded in order to document the fundus appearance completely. At the end of the examination, exit and save images. For optimum visualization of photoreceptor structure, apply a low or medium sharpening to infrared fundus reflectance images. The pattern of the photoreceptor architecture can then be more clearly visualized. Acquiring an HMM art composite image. The external fixation target should be selected. The camera head aligned and focused using the technique described previously. The composite mode selected. Eye tracking should be engaged and the camera head panned constantly adjusting the funnus illumination to create a wide field panoramic high magnification image. When sufficient retina has been visualized, acquire an image. Exit and save. The resulting image provides a panoramic but high resolution image of the fundus. Acquiring a cross polarized high magnification image. Select the external fixation target, adjust fundus position to visualize retinal nerve fiber layer, align and position as before, select the cross polarized modality and acquire images using eye tracking. It may be necessary to acquire multiple fundus images to document changes completely. 
Exit and save examination. Acquiring a high magnification movie sequence. Align the patient as before. Select the movie modality. And acquire a short movie sequence of the desired structure. The movie can be stopped at any point during the acquisition and saved. This is an introductory video to high magnification fundus imaging. For further information, please contact your Heidelberg Engineering subsidiary or distributor.